Sinatra's Pizzeria that's on West Thomas Street. And then you have Tony's Pizzeria. Apartment building. Here you have Bill's Variety. He's been here forever. Liquor store. Can never have enough liquor stores. Again, this is West Thomas Street. That's a nice house. Good stuff. Fedex. And this is Expense Street. Used to live on Expense Street. And we're back on West Thomas Street. Some of these houses are just massive. But the majority of them are multiple family homes. Some of them, a lot of them are private, but you can tell by the driveways that more than a few people live in a single home. And as soon as the screen blacks out, I'm gonna turn it off because we got a while to go on West Thomas Street. I like the flag. <sighs> Trump. <sighs> Fire department. <sighs> Nice to see the American flag on houses. Whether you have the flag inside your home or outside, doesn't matter. I used to have the flag on the outside, but one landlord said I couldn't have it on the outside. Probably a communist. Must be Turks. <sighs> Turks tree service. <laughs> Look at that tree. Always like a nice tree. Have a bunch of those trees in the back of your house or the front of your house. Well, really help your house conserve on energy, you know, as far as the wind and the cold go. Okay. We gotta conserve battery juice. Oh. I'm going to turn it off in a minute.
<laughs> this section of West Thomas has nice uh, little homes. Oh, it's like a nice home. <laughs> this guy's going way too fast. <laughs> So much for handing out speeding tickets. You think with a school right near West Thomas Street, they'd really enforce the speed limit. Not anymore. Not with Democrats. Uh-oh, I see a chump flack. Hey, man. Chump. I see geese way back there. You probably can't, but trust me, there's geese in that pond. A lot of them. This is the Rome Cemetery. And I've yeah, done a video that. on this before, a couple videos, if you just this is search Delray for Rome Drive. Cemetery on my channel, you'll see the video. Let's try to cut across. I always like that. Not gonna go around the cemetery. I've done that on a couple videos in the recent past. There you have the uh, summit, the uh, tombstone for Francis Bellamy. If you don't know who he is, you can Google it. But it's a uh, nice memorial. I just like the big trees that are in the cemetery. And I can hear the uh, medical helicopter. It's kind of mild out. It's like 32, maybe 34. Oh, it's going to be a big difference from uh, Friday night. Friday night and Saturday night, it's going to be uh, well below zero. Oh, if you don't like the cold weather, <laughs> you're going to love the weekend. Tablet erected by the Rome Lodge. But it starts warming up Francis after Bellamy, Saturday. Citizen so. of Rome, author of the Pledge of Allegiance. Again, it's one day and two nights of cold to weather. To the flag, which is used and honored by all Elks and not very many Americans. Gravesite renovations. Okay. You have the committee members there. Once again, the flags are at half staff, Dave. Been at half staff in New York State for like two years now. No offense, but it, flags used to be half staff to honor, you know, important people. But now, <laughs> now we lower the flag half staff to honor anything. I mean, if you want to honor your your dying dog or something, you can fly the flag half staff. That's how New York State is. Pretty much frozen on there, but you get the idea. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic to which it stands, and one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. See, that's the problem. It says with, under God, and, well, people just don't like that. <laughs> hmm. 
progressives and liberals. That's uh, his wife. Uh, not even I can really read it. And if you want to read more of it, you can just pause the video. The original Pledge of Allegiance contained 23 words. The pledge is engraved on his monument as it was written. In 1923, the National Flag Conference in Washington, D.C. changed my flag to the flag of the United States to ensure that immigrants knew to which flag reference was being made. In 1924, the words of America were added after the flag of the United States. In June 9, 1966, Congress designated the week in which June 14th occurs as National Flag Week. And that's the Francis Bellamy Memorial. I just like to walk around a cemetery and check out some of the dates because some of the dates are old. Like, look at this guy, 1889. That was a very good year to die in. Parking lot and trails are closed to the public from sunset to sunrise. Well, if they don't know you're in there, you're okay. <laughs> okay, onward. And again, that's the Isaac Walton League Pitch Pine Bog Conservation Area. And that's on West Thomas Street. So, make sure you come in and check it out. Especially in the springtime for you people that don't like the cold. And like I said, that's on West Thomas Street, uh, going west. Yeah.